making it a smoothie. Um, just what I've got laying around, which is just carrots, bananas, orange, pear, apple. And then just some other stuff. I will link all the ingredients I'm using in the description. I won't have the amounts though, besides the fruit, how many much of fruit and veg I used. Because I'm not measuring any of this stuff. So I'm just has this lying around, I'm gonna use that. Oh my god. Um I'm not sure when the last time this was opened. It might be off. I'm not sure. Tish, do you think I should use this? I'm not sure if it goes off or not. Let's put a bit of it in. Might as well use it out. Yeah. Let's look at this pen. We always usually um, buy green pears. But this time we brought brown pears and I actually like them better than the green ones. Maybe it's just the type of green ones we got were no good. But these ones are really juicy. So I hope you like this style of video. Um, I think the next video after this one I'm filming is going to be um, in the garden. We've been doing some weeding. But we're not going to um, post that video yet until we buy some seeds and um, film planting them. So I think we're going to plant some flowers and like, I'm not sure if, in, if strawberries are in season, but like whatever is in season, but would like to plant strawberries. But mainly flowers, not a lot of stuff. But yeah, because we already planted some flowers, but we planted them at the end of the season. So they're actually kind of dying, which is really sad. But now that it's spring... Here in Australia we hope that they might start growing back and we're going to be going out soon so we're going to get some more books um, homeschool books for tea because these ones are a little too easy and kind of useless in my opinion so we're going to try and find some more better workbooks I might buy a book I'm not sure So like the video if you like this type of videos. I like filming this type of video. Uh, before I put this in, I'm not sure if I showed you guys. It's just some red powder stuff. The red's essential. I'm going to put some flaxseed oil in. I probably did about, I don't know, three tablespoons. Apple cider vinegar. I just can't see how much I'm pouring in. Oh, and some coconut water. And then the main watery. I'm just going to put some apple juice, which I kept calling this pear juice because I thought it was pear juice, but it's actually apple juice. how much I'm going to need. Now, I originally wanted to film blending it, but I don't have a power outlet close here, and um, we usually use, was it working? Like a little battery box. Anyway, so I blended it. I'm going to taste it. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to taste good. It should taste good. It's got everything good in it, so it should taste good. Okay, so I just washed a cup. We're just in this shed, if you're wondering. We kind of moved in this, so we have to pull down the cabin. Now, I don't have any fruit. I, we usually put frozen berries in our smoothies, but I do want to. A 
that's actually good. I like that. It's different. It has this different taste to it. I think it. I think it's this. Because it just has this different taste. But I think it's this. It tastes good though. Yeah. Um, I made a lot. I didn't think it would actually make this much. But um, so I'll give some to everyone else. But it's really good. Yeah. So we'll see you in the next clip then. language now teach so I'm um, doing her she's doing Japanese and I'm doing it's actually really easy it's actually really easy because yeah I could go on about everything how you say everything yeah yeah I don't know why we didn't think of doing this earlier because we went outside and yeah I don't think yeah. you guys can see the screen it just looks back black for you but we have got the video on the screen, which I will link. I, I did say that already. So, just got a book here and a grey lid. Should I add this one straight in or will you use this one? Okay. We will yeah, probably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the book too, so, okay. so, we're probably um, going. How about we do it like this? So, I write here and you write there. Or, how about we just split the book? Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, I realize I've already written. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me just write the date. I want to write the day I started learning to drive. Um, I'm going to So, you want to explain to her this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. She has asthma. Yeah. I'm not sure if you, I think you guys can see that, but that's actually why I was making this smoothie because we're trying to figure out like what gave me this rash. Because usually when I get rash like this, it's from dairy, but I haven't been eating dairy. Wait, so I'm not sure why I've got this rash. I think that's as high as it goes up. Yeah, so I'm going like on a cleansing diet, so like I'm cutting certain foods out of my diet to see which ones. So I'm going probably gonna do two weeks. With just eating fruit, veggies, and meat, um, those kind of things, um, and then after after that, once this rash goes away, then I will start adding. Like one week, I will probably add. Can we start um, now? Wheat. Bro, you wanted me to explain it to them. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. really? <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. So basically, just add everything each week once this rash goes away and. I just don't see the point in the sushi rice when you can just have this rice. Yeah, like jasmine rice works fine. We're using jasmine rice, by the way. It's so sticky. Yeah. You can tell I'm not really professional at this. You don't have to push it down. You don't have to talk. Sounds like a car. 
Shut the or door. Or an airplane? Shut the door. Shut the okay, door. I will. Okay. This is fine. Sorry guys, she stopped putting stuff on before I even had the chance to film. She usually does this. Oh, so it's my fault when you were the one who were eating Tate, food. It's no one's fault. But you just said it was my fault. I didn't say that, I just said Nazis. she usually does this. Get up. So with this chicken, um, I just cut it up and Tisha flavoured it with oil, salt, pepper, um, herbs and ginger and garlic. And then we just fried it in oil. We didn't batter it um, because of my new diet. But yeah, but it turned out really good. It smells like Thai chicken. It tastes like Thai chicken. So if you want to know how to make Thai chicken, I think that's how you do it. I'm not a professional. So is this your one? Yeah. This is that as I look it up. You know, I'm not a professional sushi maker. That's okay. I just kind of throw it together and it tastes good. We don't even have a sushi rolling mat, but we did once and I think it was honestly pathetic. I don't know if it was I don't cheap, think... but I used it, got it dirty, and then I tried to wash it. And yeah, I and it, wash it. it did a worse job. Like when I tried rolling it with the sushi mat, it did a worse job than just me rolling it by myself without the sushi mat. Right? Map, so I, I don't think you need it. But if you have it, then I guess just use it. But I don't think it's necessary. Um, teas are wet nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wet it after I... Okay, well, it's it's pretty good. What, you want to have a, no? wanna have a look? Yeah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in the next no, clip, guys. she's going to show another bit. Okay, uh, what bit? You cutting it again? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a better cut. Nice. We can have some photos on the thumbnail for this of this sushi. Smells like sushi. Tastes like sushi. I know, right, guys? Ricky! You just picked it and I never said I was ready! Ricky, redo that one. I showed you.